Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um, I am here this evening in respect of the remarks that are made to you on the 16th of February after court proceedings. Those remarks were widely publicized by the media and both mainstream and social media carried them um, and they went viral. I have looked at what I said that day and I have come to the conclusion that I went overboard across the line with respect to the remarks that are made in terms of attributing impropriety to the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana. And I just wanted to let you know that this morning I delivered a letter to His Lordship, the Chief Justice, um, offering an unqualified apology to the court. Now that letter has been filed and the Chief Justice of the Republic has referred to it, I want to take the opportunity to read the content of that letter to you, and thereafter I will apologize and retract my words. Now, the letter reads, My Lord Chief Justice, summons to show cause unqualified apology to the Supreme Court. On the 16th day of February 2021, I address a press call at the premises of the Supreme Court in respect of a ruling that the court had rendered on that day. I did so in my capacity as a member of the legal team of the petitioner with instructions to brief the press on matters of concern to the petitioner after court proceedings. In carrying out my instructions on previous occasions, I had always made certain that I explained the day's proceedings to the understanding of the press call and of fellow citizens with civility and without seeking to attribute acts of impropriety to the Supreme Court or the respondents. On the said day, I thought I had maintained that approach to the press briefing, but on hindsight, I actually crossed the line in suggesting that the court had a predetermined agenda, among others, to rule against the petitioner. My attention was drawn to this fact immediately after the press briefing by Frank Davis Esquire, to whom I am grateful. It was not my intention to scandalize the court or to bring it into disrepute. In the circumstances, I wish to apologize unreservedly to the court. Yours sincerely, Dr. Dominic Akuruting Ayene signed. And for those of you, I'm sure uh, Mr. Frank Davis is not a stranger to the press. He's standing here to my right. I remember on the 16th of February when I finished addressing the, the, the press, he walked up to me and reminded me that the phrase that I had used, that there was a predetermined agenda, had crossed the line. And that is when I started thinking about whether or not I had crossed the line. And I agree absolutely with Mr. Frank Davis and those of you who think that I crossed the line on that day. I wish to unreservedly apologize to the court, that is the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana, as well as the justices in particular who sat on that day. There was no intention on my part to impugn their integrity. I was just expressing a sentiment with respect to the, rule, the ruling of that day. And I want to un, I mean, render an unqualified apology and to retract the words that I used on that day in their entirety. Unreservedly. Unreservedly, I will not in any way want uh, to, um, you know, to, to, to disparage the Supreme Court of the Republic of Ghana. You can see I'm lost for words because I don't want to be, you know, when you, you want to take a pegative, I was told that I should peg, I should peg, peg, my, peg, my, peg myself of the contempt. So you take the pegative so that you don't complicate the, the constipation. So I'm being very careful that the pegative I'm taking this afternoon will not complicate the constipation. And so I, I wish to thank the press for um, the opportunity to address you because his lordship, the chief justice, in making the order, said I should use the same medium that I used in conveying 
the words that are the subject matter of the contempt proceedings. And so thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of the press. I am hoping that my apology and retraction will be accepted by their lordships and uh, the matter will come to an end. Now, in respect of this matter, I plead with the press that I won't take any questions uh, and, and provide any explanations. God bless you and God bless our homeland Ghana.